Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tide here, and we have another Halo Infinite video. Of course, we love Halo. So before we get into the video, I will say, if you also like Halo content, go ahead and give me a sub. We are on the grind to 25k, and I know all of you watch these videos and then you don't sub, so... And also, leave a like on the video if you think that this news is positive about the future of 343 and Halo. I would actually like to see how many people are excited about the future now. So let's get into the video. We uploaded a couple days ago about Bonnie Ross leaving 343 Industries and Xbox. Now for those of you who don't know, Bonnie Ross was the lead, the head of 343, and the Halo franchise for 15 years. But she was also around xbox for the last almost 30 years now i know we went over her statement and it really does seem like she is actually retiring to focus on her family so we wish her well on that endeavor and for those of you who don't know she pretty much you know kept halo alive i don't know if a lot of you know the story but uh microsoft had planned on shelving it and she pitched her vision for the franchise and microsoft actually thought that halo was in a decline back then but that's just something to keep in the back of your mind. Now, I'm not saying that 343 and Halo as a franchise has not had a bunch of missteps and mistakes. I think we can all agree that we want Halo in a better place. Things like, you know, the TV show and, you know, the recent seasons of Halo Infinite and how long it took Master Chief Collection to kind of get up to standards. So they pretty much split her role up into three different parts. And I actually think that this is smart. I think this is something that more just businesses in general, corp, you know, any type of company, instead of giving one person all this extreme power, this high level overview, they're, they're focused on so many things at once, instead of having people that are specialized in those certain areas. So from that, the studio head will now be Pierre Hintz, I believe, and that is effective immediately. If you don't know Pierre, he's basically, from what I can gather, the person that kind of spearheaded and saved the Master Chief Collection. The new GM of the franchise will be Brian Koski, and Elizabeth Van Wick will oversee business and operations. So those positions are kind of uh, weird because you have Brian who is going to be the GM of the franchise, and there are some other studio heads, you know, heads of, uh, like Kiki Wolfkill is the head of Transmedia. And, you know, someone like Frank O'Connor is the franchise development director for Halo. So in my opinion, taking Bonnie's position and splitting up into these three different positions will... It, it seems as though that these people will be in charge of Kiki Wolfkill. And in turn, something like the Halo TV show. So maybe we'll see a huge change in that. Now, before we get any further into the video, I just want to say that normally these things, you know, the changes that we want, expect, are not overnight changes. I really feel like we won't see the fruits of their labor until season four. Maybe season three, we'll start seeing the foundation being laid. That also being said, I don't think that this was a spur of the moment decision by Bonnie or 343. I feel like these things were in motion months ago so that part of it has me a little bit excited i mean she did say that she wanted to stay until the winter update so clearly people knew what was happening you don't just dump these huge rolls on people without letting them know you know months in advance so i do have hope in that regard so to me i feel like the future of halo looks a little bit brighter today the community has been asking for change and this is change of the highest degree I know there are others at the studio that people don't really want to see, you know, stay on. But once you get into a position of power that high up, you don't just get fired. That being said, I'm excited to see what happens with Halo going forward. And that's going to do it for the end of the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I will catch you around the ring. Peace!